Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another T. Martin Airlines flight. It's our pleasure to service you today. We've got a gorgeous flight to the Bahamas ahead of us and uh, you're going to be sipping a Mai Tai on the beach in no time. Now we do want to let you know that safety is of the utmost priority at our company and uh, our pilots have officially passed uh, training and, and instruction. Um, they've actually learned how to land, case in point. Good job. As an old instructor said to me, not only did you not die, you're really learning to fly. <laughs> that sounds like that should be our airline slogan or something. Not only did you not die, but you still shouldn't trust us to fly. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're back and uh, yeah man, I took on a few of the training modules here. So I did the first five. I figured first solo flight, I mean, traffic pattern was kind of a solo flight. We took off, went around and landed. So figured that'd be kind of a recap. Navigation is, is pretty important. We should probably do that at some point, but it's baby steps, dude. Maybe I'll, I'll do the, the next three before our next episode and we'll get even better. But um, we really learned how to fly this, this Cessna 152. Honestly, we were whipping that thing. I was feeling very confident in it. Um, you know, it's kind of an older aircraft, all analog gauges, all just very upfront. Like even the gauges on them, they have like the green areas of where your speed should be and then yellow and red and same for your, your tachometer and stuff like that. So like, it was just a lot easier. Obviously the newer stuff is super advanced and, and if you know what you're doing, it's better. But for somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, having the, the plain Jane analog gauges was helpful. So I think we're going to go with something like that today. We'll, we'll see what happens, but, um, I'm thinking let's let's fly from Miami. We're gonna have a, a little bit better of a uh, of a view today. We're gonna fly from Miami. Should we leave from? We could leave from Miami International. I'm not against that. Runway 27 sounds good to me. And I want to go somewhere in the Bahamas. I actually don't know where I want to go to though. We should actually probably change. I mean, I think any aircraft is gonna be able to get there. So let me see here. This is Nassau. We also have Linden Pendling International. I guess, what are all the, oh, those are other little flights and stuff. Are those live flights? That's pretty cool. We could fly to San Andros. I'm thinking let's fly to Nassau. Nassau is obviously the uh, the capital, the biggest city in the Bahamas. So we're going to set that as our arrival city. And it's going to be about a 40 minute flight. I would like, it'd be cool if we could kind of like fly over Grand Bahama and stuff like that. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll get there and we'll just see what we see. It's going to be beautiful turquoise waters and stuff like that. Flight conditions. I mean, we've got live traffic on weather and time. I'm going to say let's do let's do clear skies. I just feel like clear skies when you're flying through the Bahamas is going to be beautiful. So uh, that looks pretty good to me. We are good to fly, except I didn't change my plane. There's so many different types of aircraft in here, especially small range aircraft. Like there's, there's a ton of options here. Whoa, this thing is fast. 330, 126 on the Cub Crafter. We've got a little Cirrus there. Obviously we're not gonna be doing any big Boeing planes or anything like that, at least not yet. At some point we will. That's a little guy there. Flight design CTSL. Uh, I'm looking. I felt really confident in our Cessna 152 here. We've also got a 152 Aerobat and a 172 Skyhawk. These are gonna be a little bit a little bit slower there. If we went with that Skyhawk, which is kind of like a, a pretty big daddy, that's gonna be about an hour and 17 minute flight. I hope there's a way to increase speed of like the, the time that passes. It'd be cool if you could skip time. I mean, it'd be nice to, to take the CJ4 out there and be there in 21 minutes. Are you kidding me? That is insane. I don't think we're ready to, to fly that yet though. We will at some point, but it's very, very electronically heavy and we just, we have a lot more to learn. Um, we've got this that honestly kind of looks like a minivan of planes. I'm not gonna fly that. I'm tempted to do the Cessna. I'm also tempted to do something like, I mean, we could do the Beechcraft Bonanza here. Let's go with the Cessna. I'm going to go with the Cessna 172 Skyhawk. I mean, it's going to take us a little bit more time to get there, but that's all right. It's a different brand of aircraft. I don't want to stick with the same brand. I want to branch out. I want to do a bunch of different stuff. That's actually the Skyhawk right there. It's in the loading screen. It was meant to be. Mm. Look at this pretty bird here. This would be the perfect little personal aircraft, little four-seater, you know, nothing too crazy. You and your girlfriend or your wife and maybe another couple or if you've got a couple of kids or something. Tired of the humdrum of Miami and you want to fly out to the Bahamas for a weekend. It's going to take you an hour to get there. That would be uh, that'd be pretty convenient, that's for sure. So let's see, uh, let's see what we can do here, dude. I'm excited. 
So this is our Cessna uh, Skyhawk here. And uh, as you guys can see, we have a lot of analog gauges here, which is really nice. Just getting out of all the, the tech. I mean, we do have a little bit of tech over there on the right hand side, but still easy to read. You know, you can see these are the, the values we want our airspeed at. This is where we want our RPM at, that sort of thing. Definitely gonna make it a, a lot easier for us. I think our cruising speed is 124 knots and our max altitude is like 14,000 feet. I don't think we're gonna end up going that high. I'm thinking like, I don't know, 6,000 feet or something. We'll, uh, we'll, see. we'll see what we do. I will say it's not spacious. There's almost zero arm room. Leg room is decent. That, that back row has a good amount there in between the, the back of the front seats, but uh, definitely not a lot of space. Definitely not that king air with the, you know, hostess seat and the tables and everything like that. Not gonna be able to take nearly as much luggage either, so you gotta keep that in mind, but uh, we're gonna be fine. So let's get our, let's get our, our uh, you know, angle set up here. We're a little bit taller, be able to see up over the dash. I love that. What happened to our gauges? Are we really having electronic issues on the ground before we take off? I wonder if it's because we were waiting too long to take off. I wonder if it glitched out or something, I'm not sure. All right, so I restarted. I really don't know what was going on with those gauges earlier. So we're gonna take the parking brake off and we're just gonna get the heck out of here, dude. Here we go, let's throttle this thing up and let's, let's skedaddle. I don't know if it was a glitch. I don't know if it's because we were just sitting here idling and it didn't like that. I have no clue what's going on. So we're gonna get this up to, uh, we're gonna go to 100% power. Our Cessna in the in the training mission, I think we wanted to get up to about 75 knots before we took off. So we'll take a look at this gauge here. Now this gauge right here is our uh, our attitude. So if you get the the orange thing is our plane. If you get the plane up above this white line, it's not gonna like that. So you don't want to do that. We're gonna want to want to put our flaps up here. Oh. Our electronics just went out again. I'm not sure why our electronics keep going out. That's definitely gonna be an issue. I'm gonna go ahead and start turning. We do need to turn. We need to start heading towards the coast and start heading towards the Bahamas. We're gonna be careful here, dude. Our airspeed is, is not good. We're just not getting the airspeed that I want. I mean, obviously, because we're climbing, but I just don't... I, I don't know what we're missing here. Are our flaps in the wrong spot? I, I think we want our flaps all the way up, right? Now, one thing we can do is trim. So, like, we, we could fly all the way there right now, pull them back on the yoke. But you guys will see, when I when I just let the yoke go steady, we're going to end up falling. So, right now, we're, we're pulling back on the yoke to, to be able to keep, keep this thing angled up. We can trim it so that when we let go of the yoke, the plane kind of stays steady. You guys can see our trim down in the bottom right. So if we trim a little bit more up, we should be able to just keep the climb happening. We don't want to trim up too high though. Look my no hands. So here we're keeping our vertical speed, but we're also keeping our airspeed. This is pretty much where we want to be. Now we are having, a, I think those are wind ghosts, gusts that are causing us to, you know, kind of shoot up and then shoot back down and stuff. But now here, we can comfortably just kind of sit here and we don't have to worry about it. We don't have to constantly be pulling on the yoke. We can just kind of relax a bit. We are still in a climbing state. We could trim the nose down a little bit more to be able to go to our cruising state. But again, we kind of want to get, kind of want to get up, uh, up a little bit, a little bit higher. I'm actually tempted to stay a little bit lower as we go over Miami here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trim us down. We're gonna try to get to our, our cruising. We're, we're going to go over downtown Miami and South Beach. So this, my friends, is the good old city of Miami. The home of fun and sun. The heat. You guys can see American Airlines Arena. We're going to be going straight over that. Just taking in the skyline right here. Love this city, dude. Spent a lot of time down there, especially going on cruises and stuff like that. The cruise port is, is kind of in between the, the skyline and then the outer areas, the outer islands and stuff. It's off to the right of our compass a little bit right here. So I'm trying to see if, if there are any any cruise cruise lines in there, but I don't think there are. Oh, dude, this is just so sick. Look how real this looks. Are you kidding me? So that's where the Miami Heat play right there. Off to the right over there is kind of like the Brickell area. It's, it's like a, a very hustling and bustling part of town. Lots of cool art and things to do and stuff like that. You can see all the little marinas. These like pill looking islands over here in front of us these are just massive you know celebrity athlete crazy homes you know all you know everything from you know five millions probably on the low end up to 20s 30 millions there's always all kinds of yachts and stuff out here 
the cruise port is, is this part down here that has all the buildings. Royal Caribbean's building is, is down here at the ends. I don't think they have their new building in there. All of these homes here below us are super, super crazy. There's even one that's floating that has like pylons that can go down to the water and lift it out of the water and like keep it stabilized. And then when it needs to move for like hurricanes and stuff, they can retract the pylons and, and it floats. It's like a houseboat kinda. And then up here is South Beach. Try to see if there are any honeys out there. Trying to see if anybody's sunbathing. Can y'all see any cake down there? We might be a little bit too, a little bit too high, but um, that's quite all right. Dude, this this is just gorgeous. I, I don't know what else to say. And look at this. If we go back inside the uh, the cockpit, it's nothing but just blue water from here on out. Say goodbye to Miami because we we are going to be seeing we are going to be seeing land for a while, dude. Oh, that is just so cool. What an incredible game. Like, look look at the, the technology that we're at. That These are all like the real buildings and how it actually perfectly looks in real life. And we're up here just cruising in a video game. Absolutely insane. Okay, so this is, this is the part of the video where it may get a little bit less exciting. So we, I mean, how... how high up are we right now let's let's check our altimeter which is going to be over here we're currently at uh you know 28 2750 2800 feet so we we probably want to kind of lift that up a bit we just kind of want to find that that sweet spot where where it's just kind of slowly steadily climbing we probably want to get a bit more altitude speed and altitude are your best friend more speed you have, more altitude you have, more options you have if you run into any issues and you need to save it or anything like that. So I'm going to I'm gonna keep the top of our dash just over the horizon here. We're going to keep keep climbing a bit, but uh, dude, we've, I mean, we've got a, a long, long ways to go. What is this out here? Looks like this is our first little set of islands we're going to end up going over if we stay true to this line, which we're already kind of getting off of a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut it back left. And then, uh, then we're going to hit this, and then that's where we're going to go straight into Nassau. So obviously over in this area, this is going to be beautiful. But getting there, this whole stretch right here is going to be pretty, pretty boring. I'm really kind of hoping, I wonder if there's settings, ATC, VFR weather. I know there's a way I can have the AI control the aircraft, and we'll be good to go there. But I'm looking, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Okay, he's he's going, he's going, uh, he's turning around. Yep, that's not going to work then. I'm not sure where he was going. Was he going back to Miami? Was he worried about something? Do we have some sort of an issue? He's probably, he's probably going back for the gauges, huh? Nah, your boy, your boy flies through adversity here. I'm, I'm not worried about that. So it looks like we're going to be, we're going to be captaining this entire flight here, which should be interesting. Uh, I, I think there's, dude, there's got to be a way. Like, if you're trying to do some of those international flights, some people don't have time to sit down and spend eight hours. There's got to be a way to speed things up. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. Apart from the, the flickering gauges that we have here, this is actually really, really relaxing. Like, just listening to the hum of the engine and the prop and the wind rushing by, looking at the water, just seeing the, you know, small little white caps every now and then. Sometimes you get a little... A little glimpse of the horizon if we turn a little bit it's actually pretty soothing I'm not gonna lie I mean we, we have a long way to go let's take a look at our map here bring our map up I mean we've we've already been at it for a while and I guess we're halfway to that first first speck of land might be able to see that off in the distance oh actually yeah oh no those are those islands or is that is that shadows from clouds those might be islands right there I think we're seeing these though I'm pretty. Sh I'm pretty sure that's that's us seeing these. I don't. I don't think we're seeing the big daddy beyond it. Might be able to see a little bit up there, but yeah. Um, I'm thinking. Let's let's skip ahead. I, I I think I think it's gonna it's gonna be a while. So let's let's skip ahead here. Let's let's at least test this out. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna skip to the. Uh, I'm gonna skip to the descent. Do you want to travel to the descent? So let's see where that takes us here. Hopefully. This ends up being a good idea. There's got to be a way to fast forward it. I'm going to look through the menus and stuff. I, I can't imagine that there's not a way. You should be able to put it on autopilot and fast forward, you know, four times, eight times, 16 times, and just kind of watch the world go by. Oh, look at those bright blue waters, baby. 
Oh, this is sweet. Ah, and there we can see some land off in the distance. Sounds good to me. So let's take a look at where we're at. Oh, dude, that was perfect. We were, we were back here looking at these tiny islands. Now we can see this big island off to the right. We can see all these little ones off to our left. Yeah, this this is this is gonna be great. So this big one here off to our right is called Andros Island, and uh, even though it's it's massive compared to some of the other ones, it's really not that popular. You know, I I think there are a couple of cities on it, but you don't really hear about people going there. This up here is Grand Bahama. You guys may have heard about that, and then this is the Abaco Abaco Islands. I'm not gonna pretend like I know everything about it, but. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure Freeport is somewhere around here. ZFP, is that is that the Freeport Airport? So Freeport's a very popular city in the Bahamas, and then of course Nassau is uh, is kind of kind of where we're going here. The Bahamas are are massive, as you guys can see. It's made up of over 700 islands. Then I think there's like another 2,000 plus keys, which are basically like little mini islands made of rock and stuff. They're not really inhabitable. They're just like the little random specks you see all over the place and uh only 30 of those islands have people living on them so there's there's plenty of islands out there if you want to pull a mr beast then uh you can go out there and buy one i wonder where his island is i don't think he's ever said i'm assuming it's down in the bahamas that's kind of where you tend to buy private islands but who uh who actually knows so our airport is uh, is right here i definitely want to do a loop around nassau the cruise port is somewhere uh, right here this is the cruise port right there so I want to go cruise by the cruise port uh, and, and kind of see if there are any ships in port or anything like that uh, so we're probably gonna end up doing a circle around the island and then coming in I also I'm thinking it'd be kind of cool I don't really know much about Andros Island so it'd be kind of cool to kind of buzz down through here fairly low and see if we can get close to the water and just kind of see if we can see anything. It's kind of my plan here. So uh, that's that's currently where we're headed. We're gonna go ahead and, and trim down a bit, trim this nose down. So we're gonna start losing some outs too. We don't wanna lose too much though. We wanna be careful. Ooh, you guys see our our, our airspeed is getting a little too high. You also have to be careful. Okay, all right, things things are things are getting a little bit sketchy here. Gotta, gotta make small adjustments. You can't make massive adjustments, Trev. We wanna watch our engine RPMs as well as our, our airspeed here. We don't wanna end up hurting this bird. That would, uh, that'd be a bad thing. We could honestly kinda bring this down and start to coast. And then if we trim down a bit, gaining a little airspeed wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. So yeah, we're just trying to look at the, the a map of the Bahamas here. It looks like Nichols Town is going to be kind of on the far side of it. If we pull up our map here, I think Nichols Town should, should be somewhere around here. Looks like there's some sort of a little... a little airport right there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna head for that. That'll be our mark to turn back and go back across to Nassau. Now, obviously, it's going to be beautiful to look at some beaches and stuff, but I'm hoping we can see some towns and, and roads and stuff like that. But it's worth noting here that we are starting to get a little low on fuel. Uh, you know, we've got a left and a right tank with a little over five gallons apiece in it. So, I mean, I, I don't really know how much fuel an aircraft like this burns through, but if we go, if we go back outside... Try to switch outside, it should tell us. We're at about 24%. We just gotta be careful. I don't wanna I don't wanna run out of fuel over the ocean in the Bahamas, but dude, look at this bright blue water. This is so gorgeous. Are you kidding me? Let's let's get back. I'm gonna get back inside here. Take a look at this from the, the pilot seat. This would be so amazing. Just look at that, dude. It is so I, I can't tell if I want to be inside or outside of the plane. Outside kind of gives us a little bit better of a view. So it looks like this is is very much kind of not as solid as I was expecting it to be, I guess, to be honest. It looks like it's a bunch of little islands and stuff. All right, we, we probably want to trim trim back up a little bit. We don't want to lose too much, too much altitude. We're at about 1,700 feet here. We could give it a bit more gas, too. That'll help us stay out of trouble. Um, but, uh, dude, this, this is just, this is so amazing. There's so many places we're gonna go in this series and this is just the start, but like look at this bro. Are you kidding me? We're flying in the Bahamas right now 
starting to get into some of the prettier bluer water over here. Yeah, that, that area behind us kind of almost looks a little bit swampy, almost a little like Everglades-y or something, you know what I mean? Ooh, what is this? Do we have roads down there? We've got roads and houses. Oh, this is so incredible, dude. This is one of the coolest things I've ever done. I, I'm, I'm absolutely blown away. Look at that. I wish you could detach your camera from the plane so we could zoom in on these houses and stuff. We might be able to. Man. I mean, these people kind of live out in the boonies. I'm not going to lie, but could you complain? You're down here with, with beachfront property in the Bahamas. Maybe they're not in the boonies. I don't know. Are we still... Let me let me check our map. Are we still in line? Ooh, looks like we kind of got off course a bit. I think the main part of town is over here. I mean, we're kind of going over town here, though, so we're, we're fine. So I'm, I'm thinking it's time we... We jump the gun here. Let's let's get that out of here. Let's start heading towards Nassau. We're gonna start uh, start turning a bit. Start our approach. Looks like this is a pretty heavy, you know, kind of settled area over in here. We've got some major roads and kind of some some grid lines and stuff happening over here. Lots of houses and such. Look at that little private beach right there, dude. Oh, and to think if we wanted to, I mean, where's where's like. If we were into it, that airport is uh, is back back over there somewhere. We could just go land. Uh, that's it right there, San Andros. That's the airport. We could just go land at that airport and and go chill at the beach for the day. You know what I mean? We can we can do absolutely whatever we want. But instead, we are gonna go ahead and head on out to uh, to Nassau here. San Andros Island. It's been real, bro. It was nice to see you from the air. You've got some hidden beauty in there, especially on this. Uh, this east side. You can definitely see that water starting to improve. Look at those turquoises and stuff down there. Woo! This just makes me want to travel, dude. I'm stuck at home, but I can travel the world with this game. Uh, uh, here comes the fun part, dude. I woke up this morning to record this. I'm getting a little bit tired through these long sections. We have a, uh, a, decent, a decent stint through here. I don't think there's going to be a fast forward point we're going to be able to use. Oh my goodness, dude. It's taking so long. We're going so slow. Looks like we're a little bit off kilter, so we're going to turn to the right just a bit. Just just a nice little roll. We've got NASA on our sights, but it's just a speck. It's it's going to take forever to actually catch up to that thing. We're getting there, dude. I've just been sitting here refreshing Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. Look at it, Reddit. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. The island of NASA. Off there in the distance, we're still kind of a little little off to the right. So I'm making little adjustments here, but being able to, to trim up and down is so clutch, dude. Not not having to constantly adjust the yoke. Like, I, I could literally get up and go grab a snack. In fact, I think that's exactly what I'm going to go do. I got a cheese stick, bro. Chelsea recently turned me back onto these. I hadn't had one since I was a little kid. But they're actually really good, and they're a fairly healthy little snack. All right, so we're getting a little bit closer here. I'm actually curious. I don't think we can see it from this. Oh, no, we can. So it looks like the main runways. I don't know which one they want us to land on, so I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to pick this main big one here. I'm thinking let's let's go out and around. So we're going to go all the way around here, just kind of ride the coastline, and then we're going to come back in, and we're going to land this way. So we pretty much want to go from the coast to ZOA straight in, and that should that should go go perfectly well for us so apart from that i don't i don't think we really need a map until we get around to this backside. we're not going to need to uh to focus on anything so let's uh let's get outside let's start to bring her down a little bit here Ooh, our airspeed's getting way too high we're going to slow down the engine and we're going to have to slow down our descent a bit we're getting up to 150 knots there that is not where we want to be i definitely want to get low but i don't want to get too low Oh, look at just how, look at how beautiful it is out here, man. This, this is insanity. So, the island is actually called New Providence. A lot of people just call it Nassau, but Nassau is the name of the city. It's the capital of the Bahamas. Uh, there's also Paradise Island, which we'll see coming up here. There's like a bridge that connects the two of them. And Paradise is where um, Atlantis is, which is, is pretty cool. So, we'll, we'll take a look at that. That'll be one of our major POIs. Let's go ahead and hop inside the uh, inside the cockpit here, dude. This is so cool. I've been here so many times on cruise ships, never once via a flight. 
first time coming to the Bahamas on a flight is one that I'm piloting in a sim game. That's that's pretty pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow, just look at this. So the town of Nassau is on the north side of the island, which is what we're coming up on right here. It's like the main the main area. I didn't know they had so much water inside the island. That's cool. It's it's always crazy like what you learn from the air. I mean, I've flown a drone around here before, so I guess I probably should have known that, but never uh, never flown my own plane. Look at all these beachfront homes with their giant pools and stuff like that. I would imagine we're probably a little bit low. Local air traffic control would probably be freaking out a little bit at the fact that we're flying 600 feet above the ground. You know, we're, we're staying clear of power lines and, and buildings though, so we're, we're fine. We're gonna be, we're gonna be just fine. Just gonna make sure we keep enough power and we keep enough airspeed. Our airspeed's starting to slow down a bit. This water just kills me, dude. This is so gorgeous. Look at all the resorts along the water. You can see all the pools and lazy rivers and all kinds of stuff. Oh, this is, this is incredible. All right. I think we're going to have to take a little bit of a left if we want to go over towards the, the cruise port here. The cruise port's right here in front of us, just off the, uh, the left side of our nose. So, uh, it's, dude, it's kind of crazy. There's like a, an old dilapidated lighthouse on the, the edge of the little island out here in real life. There's also a bunch of houses that are all just super raggedy, have been beaten up by storms and hurricanes and stuff like that, and they're just abandoned. That white beach you see along there, one of the most beautiful ones in the world, and they're just straight up abandoned. But yeah, this, this is where you pull in. There's like six cruise ship, uh, you know, slips that you can pull into, and then you walk off and you go into the main town. There's all kinds of people trying to sell you stuff. And then over here, this is Paradise Island on our left, and that's where you would find Atlantis. I'm gonna say that it doesn't really do Atlantis justice. I mean, it doesn't really do Atlantis justice. Am I looking at the right spot or am I wrong? I feel like I must be wrong because I feel like they should have Atlantis here. No, that's, I'm pretty sure that's where Atlantis is. Looks like we've got a golf course up here in front of us. That's pretty beautiful. That'd be a, a crazy spot to uh, play nine holes, play 18, depending on what you fancy. And then off uh, off over in the distance over here, that's just a bunch of random outlier islands and stuff. We've been to a few of them. You can take boats out there. There's, there's one called like Green Turtle Key. You guys might have seen the vlog where they have a bunch of sea turtles and stuff like that. Um, but uh, not really... Not really a lot going on now. I've never really been on this side of the island. I'm not really sure what's over here. Figured we could fly over some of the land here, just take a look at it. I mean, the Bahamas, you know, obviously there's there's a big front on it with all the tourism and the big expensive hotels and Atlantis and the casinos and stuff like that. But in reality, oh, that's so cool how you can see some of the, the cars and trucks going by. Uh, in reality, it's... A not the richest country, not not the best living conditions. I'm sure it all depends on where you're at. I don't I don't want to make any overarching statements, but unfortunately for a lot of places that we like to go visit and paradise and vacation in, there's kind of that that front and then behind the curtain it's not quite as beautiful. It's kind of sad. You always always feel a little bit guilty for sure. But tourism is what what brings jobs and 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 you know provides for the economy and stuff like that. So by being there, you're helping them. It's just, you know, not not everywhere in the world is, is as well as put together as, you know, the US, the UK, wherever a, a lot of us watching this video currently are from. So just gotta keep that in mind, gotta stay humble. Probably about time for us to start thinking about making our approach. We've made it to the south side of the island here. We want to pretty much aim for that Zoa. So I'm gonna say once once we get to Freddy here, once we get to Freddy, we're gonna turn right and that's gonna bring us a perfect angle in for the, the landing. I think we're looking pretty good on fuel. We're at about 14%. We're about to get into that red zone, so it's a good thing we're going in soon, but uh, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like this was a fantastic flight. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, I, I just so many opportunities here with this game. I, I can't wait. Coming up on this fat finger piece right here, and this the second, the second island like line, whatever you would call that, in is going to lead us to Freddy. So we pretty much want to follow this one and then turn in towards the airport. Just kind of giving us some visual clues. 
I'm gonna take our map off. Let's let's see if we can do it. I'm also thinking that I'm gonna do it from inside the cockpit here, so wish us luck. We probably want to try to kind of see our airspeed and stuff a bit. We're gonna be very smart about this, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna start to kind of kind of bring the, the gas back a little bit. Shoot, this is nerve wracking. I did really well in practice, but it wasn't live and it wasn't like. There was no pressure, there was nobody watching me, I wasn't having to talk. So I need to remember, we don't need landing gear, landing gear's already down. We need to take the flaps down. I think we just kinda wanna follow this sliver in. We can see the airport off in the distance there. We're gonna choose that main runway. We, we, basically what a coast did. You know, what we did before, I don't remember how high we were when we started our coast. But we basically took the throttle all the way down and then, you know, lowered the flaps and you just kinda glide the thing in and set it down. You aren't forcing it to go down, you just kind of let it slowly just glide down. Last minute, you pull back to kind of stop yourself a bit more and then it's... We had we had some good landings, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling fairly confident, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So is that, is, is that nautical miles? We're about 2.7 nautical miles. It wants us to extend our flaps for landing. I know that. I don't know when we need that though. Do we need it yet? I'm gonna take our throttle down. Let's uh Yeah, let's let's extend our, our flaps all the way here. We're gonna start to throttle down. I might even be able to coast from here, honestly. I'm not sure. The good news is when in doubt, you can throttle it out. You can you can get a little bit of speed back. Flaps are all the way down. I feel like we're a little bit higher, are we not? So we're gonna we're gonna do this a bit. Why are we so kitty wampus on our, our screen here? We we're like angled off to the left. That's what was messing me up. Alright, yeah, we were way high. It's fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna bring our airspeed up as we as we drop here, but we're gonna be fine. It's a big old runway for a tiny little plane. We're coming in a, a little bit crooked. That's mainly because our, our camera was crooked. I have no clue why our camera was so crooked. All right. We wanna slow our airspeed down here, pull up on the flaps. Not gonna shut our engines off this time. I mean, I'm pretty sure we use like the 747 runway for this landing, but that's that's fine, dude more runway the better we're coming in super low pretty much stalled all right we can set her down trev i'd say that was a pretty smooth landing i would say that was pretty good all right so i'm not sure i'm gonna go ahead and hit the brakes a bit i'm not sure where our taxi areas are oh looks like there might be one to our right coming up here I can't really tell. I'm going to go outside so I can see. I mean, normally pilots would know where they're they're turning off and stuff like that. Yeah, we don't we don't have anything yet. Uh, we're going to I guess taxi towards the end. Is that is this a little This is a little spot to get off the main runway. All right. Definitely need a lot less lot less throttle here, Trev. Woo! Gonna gonna drift this thing in there. Kind of ran over one of the lights, but that's fine. And uh, look at that, fellas. We landed in NASA. Let's just go ahead and shut her off, kill the engines, kill everything. We could go taxi into a garage, but I don't, I don't think there are any garages actually open. So we'll take it there. I mean, that was a, a much better job than our first one. I'm not going to lie. We saw another piece of the world. Obviously, a lot more to look at than the first time. And obviously, there's a lot more interesting stuff than this to do as well. I'm talking Great Wall of China, Pyramids of Egypt, Niagara Falls, Hawaii. There's so many places we're going to be able to go, dude. It's it's going to be fun. So let me know what you guys want to see next. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Peace out.